and welcome or welcome back to Bookshop with Amy. We are going to do like the quickest haul in the world because I said I was going to drop down to one video a week um, until after Christmas because life is just too mental and it is. But I've also bought quite a few, a few books so I should talk you through what I've been buying. <laughs> So first of all I bought Dead Over Heels by Charlene Harris which is um, one of the books in the Aurora Tea Garden mysteries which me and Anne from Randy's book Chatter are going to be reading next year for our Into the Library Readathon which I'm buzzing for where we are going to be reading the entire series um, <laughs> because we just weren't ready to like, go with Charlene Harris yet, right, we just weren't. Um, I did order this, I ordered all the Aurora Tea Garden mystery books but this one didn't arrive so I got a refund and reordered it. And look how amazing these covers are, they're honestly just so beautiful. And then because I have been <laughs> enjoying reading away Charlene Harris's work as much as I have, I've actually just been like buying her back catalogue and so <laughs> I got Midnight Crossroad, Day Shift and Night Shift um, which is the entire Midnight Texas trilogy and I uh, can't wait to read these. These ones are a wee bit supernaturally as well so no like too dissimilar for Suki um, whereas the Aurora Tea Gardens are like straight up cosy mysteries but I'm very excited for these. I then bought the entire Lily Bard series which is another uh, cosy mystery series by Charlene Harris and so I got Shakespeare's Landlord, Shakespeare's Trollop, Shakespeare's Christmas, Shakespeare's Counselor and Shakespeare's Champion. Now I know nothing about these series, um, absolutely nothing, but given the fact that Shakespeare is in all of the titles of them, I'm hoping that Shakespeare's going to have a look to date with the story and being as much of a Shakespeare geek as I am makes me even more buzzing to pick these up. Then I was actually very kindly sent Sebastian by P.D. Kasich. So I got an arc of this on NetGalley um, before the book was released and I read it as part of in the August and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was one of the best books that I read during in the August. I described this as like a cosy horror because it absolutely was. The character development in here was absolutely superb and there was like a real sense of building dread the entire time through this book and you're just waiting for like something crazy and scary to happen and this book evoked so many feelings in me. Um, it, it was very emotional, it was very terrifying, it was like dread inducing and it was absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and so Flame Tree Press actually very kindly sent me a finished copy of this book because I just loved it so much and I'm so buzzing to have this on my shelves. I will definitely be looking out for more work by P.D. Kasich because this book was superb. And then I also have Magic Lies and Deadly Pies by Misha Pop. I saw Leandra from Leandra the TBR Zero talking about this book when I was going through like my cosy mystery binge and um, thoroughly thoroughly loved it so I needed this in my life. I believe this is a duology um, or there's maybe going to be more in the series but I think there's two out at the moment uh, and I it just sounds absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to pick it up. I am still really enjoying cosy mysteries. I needed it on my shelves and the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. Like I love bacon. I love cosy mysteries. Cosy mystery with bacon in it. My cup of tea. My cup of tea. And then lastly, um, I got the Cemetery Girl trilogy by Charlene Harris also. And these are graphic novels. And so I got um, Cemetery Girl, book one, The Pretenders. Cemetery Girl, book two, Inheritance. And Cemetery Girl, book three, Haunted. Um, and I, it'll be nice to see Charlene Harris's writing in a different format. I've never read a graphic novel that she's done before so I also cannot wait to pick up these because I've been getting into graphic novels this year a lot as well. That's me. Um, every time I say this is going to be my last haul till after Christmas but like genuinely this will be my last haul until after Christmas uh, and then I'll show you like all my Christmas books that I get. <laughs> Of which I already know there's going to be many because me and Simon are only getting each other books for Christmas this year. I know, we don't need them, but as for as. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying everything that you're reading at the moment. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!